The Chairman Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, has reiterated that the use of the permanent voters cards, PVC, as a rule subsists. Mahmoud Yakubu made the disclosure at a daily briefing International Conference Center, ICC. He added that while the rate of collection of PVC is higher than previous years, there are still unfortunately many cards that were not collected. A major part of our preparation for the general election is the establishment of additional 56,872 polling units across the country. The first time that this is done since 1996. With this, we expanded voter access to polling units in Nigeria by over 32%, making it possible for voters to have improved opportunities for casting their votes. We operated on the principle that the right to vote is almost meaningless without a place to vote. Unfortunately, voters have not taken full advantage of this opportunity, resulting, as I said earlier, in 240 polling units without voters and prompting the Commission to further move some voters out of congested polling units to less populated areas. I implore all voters to cross-check their polling units before the election. However, only 7% of voters are affected by this movement. We send bulk phone text messages, SMS, to the affected voters, tasked our state offices for publicity in local languages, and offer two unique ways by which voters can locate and confirm their polling units before election day by sending normal text messages to dedicated telephone numbers or by visiting our web website. The detailed procedure has already been uploaded to both our website and social media platforms. The last few months, we made 13.6 million PVCs available for collection for new voters and applicants for transfer and replacement of lost or damaged cards. While we are pleased that the rate of collection is higher than in previous years, there are still, unfortunately, many cards that were not collected. Before the end of this briefing, we shall make public a summary of the number of collected and uncollected PVCs in each state of the Federation. The detailed breakdown by polling units will be uploaded to the Commission's website letters tomorrow Friday, 24th February. Professor Mahmoud stressed that the Commission is working closely with enforcement agencies to ensure that the matter of vote buying is eliminated from electoral process. He also noted that the ban on the use of mobile phones and photographic devices at the voting cubicles is still in place. We have worked closely with the enforcement agencies to ensure that this is eliminated from our electoral process. We are convinced that our joint operations before and on election day will vastly reduce the prospect of voter inducement, which is not only illegal, but actually immoral. The ban on the use of mobile phones and photographic devices at the voting cubicles is still in force. Some voters have used these devices in previous elections to snap their marked ballot papers for vote, vote transaction. However, citizens are permitted to come to the polling units with these devices as long as they do not make them take them to the voting cubicles. Our arrangement of placing the ballot, paper, ballot boxes near the voting cubicles and away from the party agents remains. The Commission has printed and delivered 1,642,000 385 identification cards to our state offices for collection by state chairman of political parties for their polling units and collection agents. The soft copy of the summary of the list has already been uploaded to our website and social media platforms. The INEC chairman assured the Nigerians that the commission is adequately prepared to conduct a free, fair and credible election process.